guys, FL101, and if I sound a little bit tired in this video, it's because I'm recording this at 5 in the morning after having 3 hours of sleep the past day. Anyways, this is my newest map, which I just completed, and it's called Spartan Ops, and obviously it's inspired by the Spartan Ops mode that's going to be coming with uh, Halo 4, which is going to be launching on November 6th, can't wait. And uh, so, I figured that I actually couldn't wait, so I decided to make Spartan Ops in, uh, in Halo Reach. So, uh... Yeah, I'm going to go over some of the basics of how the game mode kind of works. It's set up as a linear style infection map using the modded game type with the uh, elites. This is the uh, elite spawn room. Sorry, it's a little bit ugly, but I needed to conserve, you know, certain objects and stuff like that. Um, elites can only pick up weapons for the first 10 seconds, and in the 10 seconds they also cannot jump, so they can't pick up those weapons. So, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of some manipulation of um, the respawn settings which you can use. Now, I'm just looking for my particular... Spartan at this moment, so uh, yeah, I'm just kind of switching around. Now you're going to notice these ramps kind of uh, spawn. Uh, I'll get into that later, actually. So there's a couple teleporters which you can use, and it finally got to me. This is actually the second area that we've moved into already. Um, there's a little like shaft, uh, elevator shaft thing right there. You can see it. That's what you fall through, and as you can see, elites will eventually spawn uh, through there. There's also a spirit dropship which the elites will spawn in as well. So, uh, you know, that's kind of useful stuff. This was inspired by um, Halo 2's Quarantine Zone, but without the Flood, I guess. So, uh, the story behind it is it's kind of like um, set five years after Human Covenant War, same time as Halo 4, and um, the uh, UNSC has found a uh, another Halo ring, and there's uh, they're after the Icon, but the group called the Storm, which is the Covenant that you fight in Halo 4, uh, they're after the Icon as well. So you have to stop them, you have to beat them to it, and get to the extraction zone. Uh, we're, right now we've progressed into the third area, out of four. Uh, this is uh, more open, it has a warthog. Now, the warthog is absolutely key for survival. I know you guys don't really probably think about the warthog as being something that's actually essential to, uh, you know, game mode or something like that, but believe me, you lose that warthog and you're dead. Now, we got very lucky that we had a really good uh, we had a really good uh, driver in the warthog this time. Like he dodged everything, and so we just wrecked the uh, we just wrecked the elites this this round. Like they made infected like one of us total, and we were just mowing them down with that turret, snipers, rockets, everything we got going at them. This is usually a pivotal round where you see either you progress on with like one or two people, or you just all die. This is actually probably the hardest. Phase, besides the last one, of course, but this is the hardest so far to actually survive. Um, but we have a pretty good defensive stronghold on it, so. Um, so here we're progressing into the last phase. You'll see that there's a haven over at the um, place, because this is the infection game mode, so. You go in the haven, it's the extraction area and stuff like that, you get uh, 1.5 overshields, and so those can be very useful. Uh, they save you quite a bit, and. Uh, so as you can see that the elites are kind of mopping up the last few Spartans that aren't quick enough to get to the zone. And it's just uh, three of us left. It's me, Ski Brothers, and some other random orange guy that are alive. And uh, I actually die in like the last two seconds and I was kind of pissed about that. You probably saw it in the video, but in slow motion um, at the beginning. So, um, you know, you just have to kind of hold off in this area. It's a lot more difficult than you would think. Uh, even though you have the 1.5 overshields and everything that, you know, you gotta... It's, def it's definitely a challenge to try to hold this area, um, but this was the only round in this map's history that has actually, um, we've, we've had survivors, only two of them, I'm about to die, yeah, took two grenades to get me, but uh, anyways, that's the map, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, see you guys uh, whenever I post another video.